guys uh, it's been a long time since my last video so I decided to make a new video now uh, this time around I'm, I'm bringing you a great way to fix your Dead or Alive 5 last round uh, you know the recent game for the PC that you can always buy from Steam um, I've been having some trouble trying to install the game uh, because y it has some resolution, some screen resolution troubles, issues and I also managed to just make, uh, to add some l pretty interesting mods to the game so in this video I'm going to show you how to do that first uh, you obviously want to have your game installed uh, which is the easiest part of the procedure uh, in this case I have the game in my desktop here you can see all the files of the game um, in the video description uh, of this video, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna leave you uh, all the necessary files that you will need to accomplish all these uh, steps that I'm gonna show you. So um, once you download my folder, uh, you will see in my folder these four steps. First, um, first time you will open the game, probably you will just boot up the game executable. <laughs> Odds are that that the resolution will be shit. So um, we're gonna focus first on how to fix the resolution. In my uh, specific case, my monitor is uh, 1,360 per uh, 768 resolution. So the game it's unfortunate that it, it doesn't support this kind of resolution. So we're gonna fix that. Even if you have another resolution, you, we also gonna fix that. So first, you wanna uh, download the, the files that I leave you. Uh, I'm gonna see the first step that's gonna say fix full screen. There's gonna be these three files. You wanna just copy these three files. I'm just gonna place it, place them inside your main game folder. So we're gonna open the Dead or Alive 5 folder and get just paste it. Um, you will see that you're gonna have some startup settings and also an, another bad file which is going to be named game so first you're going to open up startup settings and this um, menu should show up here you can obviously change from window mode from to full screen and also you can uh, choose uh, between these uh, resolutions if you're fortunate enough to have your monitor in one of these resolutions say, say you know 1366 all your trouble about resolution stops here so you're gonna be pretty lucky if you have this kind of resolution or these resolutions or whatever once you selected your desired resolutions I I, I highly recommend not to change the shadow resolution just change the, re the the screen resolution so once you change your your settings just hit OK and just fire up the game from uh, from game bat from here you can just double click here and the game will start up if you're not fortunate enough such as me which I already mentioned that I have a 360 resolution uh, we're gonna follow up the next step we're gonna go back to the files we're gonna go to this step number two here you're gonna see fix for my resolution so you just uh, you just will find these three files you will find these three files you're gonna copy them also um, repeat the, the previous procedure you just want to uh, pass these three new files and once you just pass it you want to have um, a nini file a config file that's going to be res mod resolution here you're going to open up that open that up and you're going to place your custom resolution in my case it was this resolution so you, once you added that resolution you just want to save it and just close it now every time you fire up the game it should work with the desired resolution just fine so now that we got our our game perfectly well running um, I highly recommend you just, just download the game from Steam you know you buy it support the guys that made this game and all that stuff but if you have the game you know you already have the game for Xbox you know, uh, because this game is just a remake. In my case, I have the game already for the console. I didn't find any um, 
need to repurchase purchase the same game so I decided this time around to download from Kikath Torrents so um, if you download the, the torrent uh, from KeyCast, you will probably have something similar to this. They're alive. I, re I downloaded the reloaded version. This is the ISO. And if you want to uh, unlock the DLCs, which are, are simpler, a couple of simple costumes, you know, they're not very important. But if you want to just unlock them, just um, you're going to see in the, in the third step this fix for the DLC, just gonna uh, find this only file, just gonna go to copy and just also uh, wanna paste it inside your your game folder. Essentially what this uh, file does is that if you uh, just open it up you will see in the DLC list you will see in DLC 2 and DLC 3 are not such a are not only a bunch of zeros but they have a special numbers here. These numbers just um, are able to unlock certain costumes that are uh, available only in DLC so that's pretty kind of a cool uh, little feature so now that we've got all DLC and resolution running your game should be pretty much uh, perfect um, there are some people that like to um, you know to add the game some stupid little effects you know the sweet effects and something like that I don't really like them I feel like they're the same but with bloom effects and stuff like that that I don't really like them. Another thing that if you want to download that just be my guest do it but I don't really find them really useful or or I don't see a huge change of gameplay or or graphics with that. So uh, next step that I'm going to show you is that a little bonus um, this is going to be the, the, the step number four here it's going to be the mods in the mods here section I'm gonna just show you some little cool uh, um, tweaks that you can make to the characters essentially just uh, just some uh, new skins for the characters uh, that I downloaded from certain web pages I selected my favorite ones uh, free from Shenmue you, you will see that uh, there are some skins uh, that change the characters clothes uh, specifically the main character from Shenmue Ryo and also uh, the antagonist who is gonna be Landy or whatever so um, and then uh, I have also the, the the mod to change the stage for um, a, a dojo stage you know from the dojo or whatever from the from the um, you know um, this guy Shenmue dude and also I already downloaded two mods that are nude mods they are pretty hot they are kind of funny because you know Dead or Alive is just not well known for the huge breasts of the female characters so I thought it was a good idea to add these two girls uh, that I found in the internet recently I hope people modders will soon make another girl more girls nude uh, but for now I think these two girls look the best so um, I'm gonna show you a couple of them. I'm gonna show you Rio and probably I don't know um, Mary Rose. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first, before doing the mods, you're gonna go to, uh, also to my to my uh, to the files that I that I show you. I forgot to add. Sorry about that. Okay, you're gonna find something like U mod. I'm gonna leave you guys this this uh, little program you wanna uh, execute the U mod and something like this will show up um, first you're gonna go to main use global hook once you do it for the first time you don't need it to do it again so uh, I already done it so that's okay I just wanna add the game itself which is gonna be dead or alive the, the game executable it's already been added so there's no need to do it once again so once this program is opened you're just gonna open uh, dead or alive while in game with the with this program open in the background you want to minimize uh, the game so you can load the mods so I'm going to show you how the procedure is done it started in in screen mode so there's no need to minimize the, the screen or
I'm gonna use this joystick, so sorry about that. So yeah, there you have it. As you could see, um, the stuff that I that I was doing, I, I wasn't talking because the you know the background music was going to just um, make my voice unhearable. So uh, as you could notice, what I was doing in the game, I was firing up the game. Um, I just kept this program opened and I just unwired these um, uh, skins and I just dragged all these files of the, all these textures inside this white box once that's done you want to right click uh, in the white box and, and, and stuff says that it's going to be out uh, you're going to click in update reload so um, that now it's obviously not going to work because the, the game is closed but you know that's how it works uh, now uh, finally I'm going to show you because right um, in this latest demonstration the game was in windowed mode as you can notice but now I'm gonna show you guys that it really works with the full screen 1360 resolution so first uh, I'm gonna reset and put it in full screen um, there you go it doesn't matter if this resolution says whatever because it's gonna be changed later uh, by this mod that, uh, that we install it later so now we're gonna fire up the game and let's see how it works I'm gonna fire it up from game from this application not the bad the game oh fuck here we go oh man it doesn't work there we go yeah sorry about that you're gonna fire up the game from the bad not the application so as you can see game works in full screen with the gr with the right resolution awesome Yeah, I'm here to fight! 
Get ready, fight! <laughs> 